up everybody this is titan titans of cnc and i'm in my shop and uh check it out it is the core five from kenna metal the the beast of a tool that i've been like showing you guys in videos and stuff and i thought you know what let's actually show it in a real application so let me set the stage all right so you got the core five okay craziest rougher of all time videos are coming out on all the different social platforms showing machinists all over the place making money dropping times because this thing eats material all right so it's for aluminum it's a five loop tool it's got a big core it's got coolant through it's got chip splitters and it's got this special flutes that are actually kind of long almost double fluted with a with a flat at the bottom like it's super sick and this thing just eats material all right now down here this is actually a fixture plate, a Mighty Bite fixture plate that we actually created and we actually posted on Instagram and now we're actually running the job. So we got three parts that actually spin on the fifth axis. We're locking them down with a pit bull clamps and we're actually hogging off a lot of material. One of the things that you see on this fixture plate is actually that it's relieved down here and on the side and there's spacing over here and that's because it's on a five axis. So when we flip it up three plus two and we index it, we have clearance for the tools to get past the fixture plate and get close to the actual part to actually drill into that part. Does that make sense? All right, enough talking, let's get to some action, all right? So this is a three quarter inch core five. It's in a Hydro Force holder and we're going to run it about 8,500 RPMs. The spindle goes 15,000, but we're going 8,500 because that's where it still has good torque and power. All right, so 8,500, 500 inches a minute. We're gonna get after it. It's a 10% radial, two and a quarter deep. Boom, let's do this. the core five from Kenna metal king of roughing you gotta love that name right it makes you want to just run that tool so a couple things i did i just want to say we went 500 inches a minute when you're in close corners it's not actually reaching 500 inches a minute so just making that known it's actually going fast though and it's a 10 percent radial which normally it goes 15 percent which puts our our load right where we want it but on this one, I wasn't running coolant, so we actually made some adjustments, ran it at 10% radial, and actually changed our RPMs a little bit for this camera so you could see it clearly, all right? So pretty cool, right? Core 5, it's your standard tool. Use it on everything from short to long cuts. You get after it. It's a different style. The only thing that will limit this tool is your machine. Take the RPMs up, take the 10%, 15, 20% radial, 
and just start taking your feed all the way up until it goes to a place where the load on the machine starts peaking right where you're comfortable at, right? So 80, 90%, whatever, whatever's good for roughing and actually call that money, all right? And every single machine is different, so test it, have fun, make money, greatest tool, make it happen. Boom, I'm out, see you guys later.